So welcome students. Till now you have understood how to solve linear inequalities. Now let us go forward. So wavy curve method is a method that can be used to solve Q P R inequalities. So what is Q P R? Q P R stands for quadratic polynomial and rational inequalities. So using the wavy curve method, you can solve these three types of linear, these three types of inequalities. So now, what are these inequalities? Let us try to analyze. So for example, so till now you have learned how to solve linear inequalities, something like x minus 3 is greater than 0. So this is a very basic linear inequality, x minus 3 greater than 0 implies x is greater than 3. So you know how to solve this. Now you'll be asked to solve not this, something like x square minus 5x plus 6 greater than 0. So this is a quadratic inequality. So you have a quadratic expression greater than 0. So how do we solve this? Again, we use our basic concepts. We try to convert this inequality into linear inequality. We try to convert one quadratic inequality into a set of linear inequalities. Something like for this, we use our concept of factorization. So you know how to factorize quadratic expressions. So what I do is, so x square minus 5x plus 6 can be factorized into x minus 2 into x minus 3 greater than 0, right? I don't think I can, I need to explain you how to factorize. You know how to factorize quadratic expressions. So once you factorize this x minus 2 into x minus 3 greater than 0. So this becomes something called a factorized, factorized inequality. So till this point, it is a quadratic inequality, just a quadratic inequality. Here, it is a factorized quadratic inequality. So this has been factorized into linear, fa linear factors. So after doing this, it is very easy to solve this inequality. So how do I do this? I analyze it like this. So this is a product of two numbers. This is a product of two numbers, x minus 2 into x minus 3. And the product of two numbers has to be positive. The product of two numbers has to be positive. This implies either both the numbers are positive, either both the numbers are positive or both the numbers are negative. This is how we analyze this. So either both the numbers are positive or both the numbers are negative. So this implies x is greater than 2 and x is greater than 3 or x is less than 2 and x is less than 3. So this implies, I'll plot this solution on a real number line. If you have a real number line, what this says is, if you have a 2, if you have a 3 on the real number line, one solution says that x should be greater than 2, the other says that x should be greater than 3. So what is the common solution for this? x is greater than 3 is the common solution. Or so if you say, if you take the next solution, so it says that if you have 2 and 3, x is less than 2 and x is less than 3. This and this, both of them have to be satisfied. So what is the common solution? x is less than 2. So now in between these two, you have an R. That means x is greater than 3 or x is less than 2. That means R is represents union. So you have to take either this solution or this solution. So what is the effective solution? The effective solution is something like this. You have 2 and 3. x is greater than 3 or x is less than 2. So both these intervals represent the solution of this quadratic inequality. That means once you factorize this inequality, you can convert this inequality into a series of linear inequalities and solve this. 
So to do this consistently and easily without actually solving this. So wavy curve method is a shortcut method to do this. So now what is this wavy curve method? So let us try to understand this process. So let us take the same example x square minus 5x plus 6 is greater than 0. Now, before using this wavy curve method, we need to factorize this inequality. So wavy curve method is a method to solve factorized inequalities. So you need to remember this. To use wavy curve method, first you need to factorize the given expression. And if it is already factorized and given to you, it's very good. Otherwise, you need to factorize it. So let us factorize this x minus 2 into x minus 3 is greater than 0. So now you are ready to use the wavy curve method. So in this method, the first thing that we do is, the first thing that we do is, we make, we make all the leading coefficients, leading coefficients in each factor in each factor as positive that's the first step so now if you see the first factor this is x minus 2 that's the first factor what is the leading coefficient leading coefficient is the coefficient of the highest power of x so here the highest power of x is x power 1 so what is the leading coefficient plus 1 it's already positive x minus 3 the leading coefficient is plus 1 already positive so if in this question, the first step has already been done. So if the leading coefficients are not positive in some of the factors, we first make them positive by multiplying with a negative sign if it is required. So we make all the leading coefficients of each factor positive. The second step is we identify, identify critical points. Critical points are the points where the factor becomes 0. Here, x minus 2 is a factor. Where is x minus 2 becoming 0? At what value of the variable x minus 2 is becoming 0? x is equal to 2. At what value of x is this factor becoming 0? x is equal to 3. So, identify critical points. For this question, x is equal to 2 and x is equal to 3 are the critical points. Now, in the third stage, we draw a wavy curve. Draw wavy curve. So, how do we draw this? So, here, we take the real number line. We take the real number line and plot the critical points on this real number line. So, what are the critical points? 2 and 3. So, 1 is 2, the other is 3. That's the critical points. So, now what we do is, the rightmost side. So when, uh, when you have two critical points, the real number line will be divided into three parts. So in the rightmost part, start from the positive side. So you start from above and at each critical point, just change the sign. That is, at 3, on the right side of 3, the curve is on the positive side. On the left side of 3, the curve comes to the negative side. And here, the curve is approaching 2 from the negative side so though so it goes to the positive side so at each of the critical points just change the sign of the curve at each critical point the curve meets x axis and changes sign so once the wavy curve is drawn so this wherever the curve is above above the real number line the sign is positive have sign negative the sign is positive so now once you have the wavy curve, so you want x minus 2 into x minus 3 to be positive. So you should look for the positive integral. For what values of x is? The curve is above x axis. So as you can see, x should be less than 2 or x should be greater than 3. That's the answer to this equation, in equation using wavy curve method. So this question can be very easily solved using wavy curve method. So as you can see, this is a very nice shortcut. So let us try to identify. 
analyze this shortcut in a more detailed way. So this is just an introduction for this shortcut. So what are the situations in which you can use this baby curve method and what are the pitfalls, what are the things that you need to be careful about in this applying this wavy curve method, we'll look at it now. So now, let us look at the concept of wavy curve method more clearly. So wavy curve method is used to solve factorized inequalities of any power, any degree. Suppose you have an inequality of the form x minus a1 power alpha 1 into x minus a2 power alpha 2 into x minus a3 power alpha 3, so on x minus a n power alpha n. If this is a factorized expression, if you want to solve this expression greater than 0, where a1, a2, a3 up to a n are in increasing order. So how do we use wavy curve method to solve this? So the first step is we identify all the critical points because the leading coefficient has already been done positive. So the first you need to make all the leading coefficients positive. Once it is done, next we plot all the critical points on the real number line. So assume that you have five critical points, for example. So A5. Next, if you have five critical points, the real number line will be divided into six parts. So now on the rightmost part, you start from above the line, above the real line. And at each point, so if you are checking at A5, so what you need to check is corresponding to the factor x minus A5, you have to check the power of this factor. So if the power is even, the sign does not change. If the power is odd, the sign changes. Remember this very carefully. The power is odd, sign changes. Sign changes. Power is even, the sign does not change. So, for suppose x minus a5 power 3. So, if you have x minus a5 power 3. The power is odd, hence the sign changes around a5. The sign of the curve changes around a5. That is, on the right side of a5, the curve is on the positive side. On the left side of a5, the curve goes to the negative side. So, suppose what, to see what happens at a4, you need to see the power of x minus a4. Suppose x minus a4 has a power of 5. So, if it is an odd power, Again, the sign changes. That is, from the negative side, the curve is going to the positive side. So now to see what is happening at A4, you need to check the sign of the power of x minus A3. So for suppose x minus A3 has a power of 4. That means the power of x minus A3 is even. And the sign of the curve does not change around A3. That means the curve goes like this. That is, the curve is positive on the right side of a3, the curve is positive on the left side of a3 also. Now if you go to a2, so at each point you need to check the power of the factor. You have x minus a2 power 2. So here also the power, the sign does not change. So you can have it like this. And for suppose if you have x minus a1 power 7, you have an odd power so the sign changes and goes down. So this will be how the wavy curve looks like. And wherever the curve is above the real line, that means the sign of the expression is positive. That is the sign of the expression is positive, the expression is greater than zero. Wherever the curve is below x-axis, the expression is negative. So this is how we solve inequalities, factorized inequalities using wavy curve. So let us apply this wavy curve in different situations now through examples.